everybody. Hi, it's Becky from PowerToolsWithThread.com. That's my blog. Hope you guys are doing well. Today is Wednesday, April 14th, 2021. Just thought I'd pop in and say hi. Hello, boo boo. <laughs> Think I'm talking to you? Okay, yes, pretty girl. <laughs> oh, she heard me talking. You guys won't believe what we did. We bought a motorhome. <laughs> <laughs> I told Keith, I said, well, see, we already have an RV. We have a, a um, Raptor toy hauler. Yeah, it's got a 12-foot garage in the back. They're made by Keystone, Keystone Raptor toy hauler. And we've had this one since 2014. And we just love it. We've had a series of RVs. And we really kind of toyed back and forth with the idea about getting a motorhome. And we weren't real sure, but a friend of ours works at a local motorhome dealership, and he does maintenance on all of the units there. And uh, he let a friend of ours know that this one had come in on consignment, and it only had 16,000 miles on it. It was a 2011 Winnebago Tour uh, coach. Y'all, it's beautiful. So we talked about it and we actually found out about it last weekend while Keith was at the coast fishing with his buddy. So he told me about it and I went and took a look because it, all he cares about it is does it have this engine and these miles and these mechanical features and blah, blah, right? Whatever. So you can find a lot of those that that have that but you ladies know if mama doesn't give the thumbs up on the unit you're not getting it <laughs> right i had looked at one not too long ago at another dealership and I, at the moment i walked in i was like nope i don't like it I don't want, no, no. And that was maybe a year ago, maybe a little more than a year ago. So we've been kind of biding our time and waiting and waiting. This one happened, so he told me about it. He says, go take a look. I'm like, all right, I'll go look at it. Y'all, the minute I walked in, it's nice. It's very nice. Uh, I think it's going to work out well for us. So I'm really, really happy about it. We're going to close on it tomorrow. And I was so surprised he said, you can put one of your power tools with thread decals on it. And I was like, what? Are you serious? Because I had these decals made up. These are vehicle decals. And they're really, really high quality. They're very nice. I'll show you what they look like. So here's a sample of one. That Here's a picture of what it looks like on the car. So power tools with thread. Go so something. My logo. Isn't that neat? We sell these on our store site. And I've got one on my car. And uh, it was just, it was really neat uh, for him to do that. So I'm not putting it in the back. I'm going to put it right by the door, um, that front window right there. So if you ever see me rolling around the country, that might be me. <laughs> but we're going to take this on the, um, on the big trip we're going on in July. So I actually saw one of these on a vehicle at Grome's Sewing Center in Universal City, Texas. And y'all, I was just tickled to death. I, it was the coolest thing. So neat. I wanted to let you guys know, we're gonna get that. We're taking three weeks vacation and we'll be gone the last two weeks of July and the first week of August. And don't worry, you guys, I've got somebody who's gonna house sit. The house is fine, okay? Don't worry about that. And we're computer nerds anyway, so we have all kind of cameras all around the house and everything's attached to the phones and, uh, you know, alarm systems and all that kind of stuff. We're, we're pretty secure and we live in a pretty rural area, so I think it'll be fine. But we're very excited about that. We're not going to take delivery of it for probably, oh gosh, a couple of weeks because it's got a couple weeks worth of make ready that needs to happen. And then we're gonna go in May to a local RV resort for a friend's birthday. There's a whole bunch of us that are traveling. We, we tend to travel in packs. We're going to that in May. And then in June, we're going to another RV resort at a place that's a little bit farther from here. So we're gonna do two, what we would consider local trips. 
if there's any kind of bugs that need to get worked out of it. We're, we're fairly close to San Antonio where you can get, you know, repair or whatever. But yeah, we're really excited about it. It's kind of cool. I've got some exciting news, you guys. Oh my goodness, I can't believe this. You know who Pat Sloan is? <laughs> Pat Sloan is a rock star in the quilting world. She is a major fabric designer. She's a major author, a book, but I have her books on my shelves and I have uh, used her patterns and her fabric lines throughout the years. And she has a daily video on a YouTube channel. And she, I used to listen to her podcast to and from work. For years, I listened to her, and she's just, she's awesome. Anyway, Pat asked me to make some samples from her new book that's coming out. I am just so excited. It was, it's such an honor. I can't wait. Of course, I chose two little applique projects. I didn't do big quilts. I just did little applique um, projects that are in there. For, it's a holidays. I'll, I'll put a picture of the book right here. My husband just drove by on the tractor. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> the book is getting ready to come out next month from Martindale Publishing. And I asked Pat if she had any of her fabric she wanted me to use. Next thing I know, I'm being contacted by Benertex, one of the major fabric manufacturers, distributors in the country. They're sending me fabric. They also want me to um, make some quilts they've got of some new lines that are coming out so stick around i'm going to be able to show you some of the new cute fabrics that are coming out from benartex i'm just so excited about that it's so fun i can't wait a lot of fun i haven't said anything about this this spaceman back here this is a line by riley blake and it is called out of this world so this is the panel to it and I ordered some more fabric. I found the panel of all places at Michael's. I was real surprised. I, I couldn't find it really anywhere. And then I hit up, I found on Etsy, Fabric Folly on Etsy. I found Constellations. This is real cute. And I'm also got this regular NASA fabric. This is called NASA Logo Black. See this? There's a couple, there's a white, there's a black, there's a blue. Oh, and this is the backing I got for it. So it's got the planets and stuff. So that's really cool. I'm going to be making it just appropriately named Spaceman from Villa Rosa Designs. Now, the way this is, it looks like just one big large border, but it is actually... Here's the pattern. It's easier to see on the back you can tell what that is. So this is a perfect, perfect pattern for any kind of panel that you get. So I think this is gonna work out real well. Again, it's called Spaceman. It's by Villa Rosa Designs. I've got a grandson who's turning 10 in June. I'm gonna take this up with me to Colorado Springs and give it to him. It'll be a little late. I don't know, should I mail it? I don't know, whatever. Well, you know, at that age, they love all things space, so that's kind of cool. Grammy will come through like he needs another quilt. <laughs> that poor boy. <laughs> also, a quick note. I have promoted our Facebook group quite a bit on this channel, and it's we just went over 8,000 members. Don't join just yet, okay? Don't join just yet. So we, and I should have done it. I didn't know any better from the get-go, so I'm going to apologize right up front. I was not aware of how this would work. What I had created was a private Facebook group, which was attached to my personal Facebook page, which limited my ability to interact with you guys because if you ever sent me a private message, if I ever answered you, then you could see when I'm online and you could call me on my phone through the Facebook app. And I love y'all to death, but you know, I need a little boundary, right? So I, I've been talking to people in the industry, in the quilting industry going, how do I fix this? Cause I didn't know. And they've been so great. 
So I created a Facebook page, which is different. It's a business page as opposed to a Facebook group. So we're going to stop ex approving members to the Facebook group right now and I put an announcement on there and we want everybody to go to the new Facebook page and join that. So I'm going to leave the other one open for a while, maybe another 30 to 60 days to give you guys a chance to all migrate over to the Facebook page and I really apologize for the inconvenience and I'm so sorry that I wasn't savvy enough with, with Facebook from the get-go, but I also need to um, plus up my Instagram presence. You guys, this is a job. <laughs> this social media thing is a job. I mean, eight to 10 hours a day, you guys. I'm serious. And I have y'all ask me all the time, when do you sleep? Well, I love every minute of it. Don't get me wrong, I do. I love every minute of it. My husband's constantly telling me, don't get yourself burned out. You know you don't want to do too much. Don't get burned out. I'm like, no, 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 I'm fine, I'm fine. Yeah, with all of the with all the upcoming things that are going to happen with uh, Benner Tex and uh, uh, Pat Sloan's book, working with Martingale, and I am just I'm just ecstatic about those things. So I can see the Facebook group building over time. I just emailed my moderators today and said, please, pretty please stay with me, <laughs> Joan, Katie, Lisa, talking to you. Anyway, so that's what we're doing right now. So the link to the Facebook group below this video will be, Facebook page will be to the new business page. And I'll go back and try to change the last, I don't know, 10, 15, 20, I don't know. Oh, one more thing I wanted to let you know. A lot of you have emailed me and let me know that because you watch on TV, that you can't get to the links below the video, because you can't, right? And so what I'm going to start doing from now on, I'm not going back to my old videos and doing this, you guys. There's not enough hours in the day. But from now on, starting with this video, I will make a post on my blog, PowerToolsWithThread.com, every time I post a video. And all you have to do is go to my blog. You'll see the embedded video in the post, and beneath that will be all the links to everything I have talked about in that video. So that ought to be a lot more helpful for you guys. You can't do that on your TV either. You're gonna to have to get on your phone or your tablet or your laptop if you have one. Also, while you're there anyway, if you go to my calendar of events page, you will see what we've got going on and what's coming up and you'll see all the links to all the products for that too. So that way you're, you're in the know. Hey, I got one of those. Uh, robot vacuum cleaners for in this room here because there's a since this was a two-car garage there's a step up to get into the main house and so it has a wall and it doesn't go past that and I'll tell you it's awesome it's called a I want to tell you guys it's called a Yeedy I have no clue there's an app for my vacuum cleaner <laughs> I can't get it to hook up to my router because it doesn't see the 2.4 gig, it only sees the 5G, whatever. So, which is fine with me, so that way China can't map out my house. Not that they need to know about my sewing room, but anyway, it's called a Yeedy. It's really, really cool. It talks to me, you know, starting charging, returning to charger. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I went to charge it and I didn't have it turned on and it started talking to me and it said something about turn on to charge and I said, what? Ah! <laughs> it's talking to me. <laughs> oh my gosh, I've never had a vacuum cleaner talk to me. I'm not dying. <laughs> I did. I literally jumped back on that one arm. <laughs> oh, that was too much for me. Too much. All right, you guys, that's it. That's all I had to talk to you about. We'll talk to you soon. Go sell something. Bye.